New York City pulsed with anticipation. The Knicks were on the verge of winning their first NBA title, but the fans knew that unless Willis Reed could play, chances were remote. In Game 7, the one big question in New York City is, was Reed able to play? Nobody knew whether he'd play or not. Right up until game time. I said, Willis, if you can give us a few minutes, I'm sure that that's going to mean as much as anything. And the crowd is very quiet as they wonder whether Willis will be in the lineup. The next thing you hear, well, they're, they're giving him a shot. What are they giving him a shot? I don't know, something they give racehorses. <laughs> we just had an announcement uh, from the press row that Willis has just received 200 cc of cortisone. Close your eyes and grit your teeth. You're doing it for a reason that is worth the pain, it's worth taking it, because uh, I mean, you're trying to do something that was going to be historical. I think we see Willis coming out. Ah, here comes Willis, and the crowd is going wild. I've never heard, you know, the emotion of a crowd that responded as greatly as that crowd responded to Willis Reed stepping on the floor. The Lakers turned around, and, including Wilt, turned around and saw this, and they lost the game right there. I said to myself, man, we got these guys. We got them. Because they seemed so concerned about what Willis was going to do. I just thought for us that there's no way that he could have any impact on that game physically. And to watch him out there hobbling around, I really felt it was an enormous advantage. The game starts, and one of the first plays down the floor, here comes Willis. Gets a pass from Frazier. Slows it down. It's picked up by Jerry West. And the number of post three. You think the garden went crazy? Wow. They went absolutely nuts. One or two plays later, Willis gets the ball again about 16, 17 feet. He takes a shot. He hits the second shot. And at that point, it's over. When he canned his first two shots, the adrenaline was flowing, man. The place was in Bentland. I had never seen a reaction like that in the garden. I don't think I've ever seen a reaction since. The crowd became like our sixth man. They really catapulted us to another level in believing that we could beat the Lakers. The spiritualism of the moment was clear. The energy level in the building was, was phenomenal. And you can truthfully say that the Lakers never got into the ball game. Frazier led both teams with 36 points and 19 assists. Willis Reed didn't score another point in 27 minutes on the floor, but his presence inspired his teammates to heights even they could not have envisioned that championship season. It was something that was destined. If we had to play the Lakers again, we wouldn't have beaten them, man, because they were a dominant team. It was just something that happened for that one game. It all came together for us. It was one of the singular, most amazing games by an injured player I've ever seen. And uh, he's been an all-time hero in New York ever since. I've been asked, how can you explain to your son that the greatest game you ever played in, you only scored four points? I said, well, it wasn't the greatest game I've ever played, but definitely the most important game I've ever played.